Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week on the Big Bench, I have this crane. And I have laid out the glass that I have available because I can't order more of this since it was just broken dishes from my mother-in-law. And I'm hoping to get as much as I can from the top down done. And then at the bottom, I might bring in some of my own glass because I'm sure I don't have enough of this and it will be grassy and reedy because that's how I've seen whooping cranes sort of walking in the, the grasses, the longer grasses. And the grasses I'm, I'm planning on making sort of a gold color. And then swinging over here, I am going to start my, and I don't know if I'm going to use this substrate. I just pulled it because these pieces are so big. I'm starting a sample project for my class. And uh, yeah, so... I'm not sure what I'll do with that. And then over here, I've got something else. I bought a whole bunch of this and I'm going to cut it down for my class so that it's easier to share and it lasts a little bit longer that way. This is probably the size I'll go with. I want a gradation in the background and I'm going to achieve that gradation by painting the background. So around the head, uh, I have this white base and this glass shows very gold, but as it comes down, I'm going to paint gold underneath it to create a, a deeper gold. And to do that, I'm using acrylic paints, but they are watered down quite a bit because what I don't want it to happen on this base is to create a, a layer of acrylic paint that, can, that I adhere the glass to that can then peel off. So I'm going to be watering it down quite a bit so that it stains the base and is not creating a waterproof barrier that can be peeled back and that won't support the glass. That's it. <music> Mountain View, which is a Cobb County facility. This is one of the locations where I teach classes, but they've been canceled on further notice, so I had to run and pick up some things. But I did a community mosaic here a while back, and I'm going to bring you inside and we'll take a look at it. That's it. The Art Place Mountain View is located in Marietta, Georgia. There's temperature checks at the door, and here it is. The drinking fountain surround. This peacock... I had over 200 volunteer hours working on this. And the art director here made these fused glass inclusions on the eyes of the peacock. Coming around underneath the fountain, there's tulips, a bunny rabbit, violets. There's these butterflies, the bluebirds and the blossoms. It took a lot of work to get it all put together over a year. I may as well show this one since I'm here. It's inspired by a Zentangle design. Mm, there's the bunny rabbit, the butterflies again, the bluebirds. We had kids as young as nine years old working on this. And it took about a year to complete. I'll go around one more time here. Thank <laughs> you. 
circles and just now started filling in the spaces between the circles because this is about all the glass that I have left and I want to make sure that this top part gets filled in and I'm also hoping to to get some more gold over here and some down here but the top needs to be done first so I'm going to knock that out before I move down here and then reeds are going to come up at the bottom but this glass is sort of driving me crazy I, I keep cutting myself even though I know that it's very sharp and a bit brittle but it just has these pieces that stick out uh, when I score it and they are extremely sharp. And I have grossing pliers that I sometimes knock it off with. Sometimes I'll go to my grinder and do that, but it's, it's just so sharp every single time. And then second of all, when shards land on the part that I finished, I can't even see it. So for instance, here's a piece, here's another piece. They just blend in. So I can't see when pieces have wherever they are on here it's just crazy and uh, I think that grouting it is going to be a real trial but we'll get to that later that's it I'm getting ready to adhere this large weedy board quarter inch piece onto my base of go board and I'm using thin set and I have this notch trowel and yeah, I know it's yucky I just wanted to show that I will how important it is to scrape in one direction when you are applying anything with a trowel This is so that when you place it, the ridges will collapse and you'll get good adhesion with fewer pockets than if you were to go multiple directions. I'm also going to be taping and putting thin set on the edges to hold it in place. That's it. That 
that's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.